With a beaver skin, we can remove the easy edible pieces of meat that you can save for your freezer. So the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna change my gloves because I may have castor on the other one. So now that I'm gonna be handling edible meat, I wanna prevent as much castor as I can from getting onto the meat. I've also sharpened my knives and I've got a clean bowl to put these in. I've also oriented my plastic to where now that I've skinned him out, dirt and debris from his hide may have gotten onto the previous plastic. So I flipped it over and I'm working on the other side. All right, so this front beaver leg and the shoulder is, is a good edible piece. So kind of like you would do a deer, we can pull it away from the body and cut up along the rib cage and it'll kind of break free. You can see where it's separated from the from the chest cavity here. So I'm just following that muscle line up. And then it's got a little bit of connective tissue here where the shoulder is. And there's a bone that's, that's in here that we're gonna have to pull away. So I'm getting up to where this neck meat joins the shoulder. And I'll cut forward a little bit. But you can see right now we've got some connective tissue. We'll need to cut it away, but I'm pulling the shoulder away from it, and, and then you can hear that bone that's in here. Okay, so pulling away, I'm getting to this bone, and I've got almost no connective tissue. So just working around, get your connective tissue away, and once I get to this point, I'm just going to be able to pull the, the bone right out of this joint socket that's in here and there's a good front leg and it'll go straight into the pot okay here's the other arm the other front leg i'm gonna start cutting in below the shoulder pulling it up towards the chest away from the chest cavity and cut a, cutting along the chest cavity you can see this connective tissue in here bone right there. I'm going to cut down towards it from the next side. Now all we've got is the bone, so a little bit of pressure and twist. There's the other front leg. Right, back leg. I'm gonna grab it and I pull it up. This is the back of the back of the beaver. I'm gonna cut, apply pressure, cut away from the body. Uh, it's starting to separate here. Pull away. You can see this is the belly. So don't puncture this. Come up along the back. We're going to try to find this ball joint, which I think is right here. I'm going to cut. Position him so where I can pull him away. So up towards the top of this leg. And cut towards the back and a little bit down and we can probably start loosening that joint so we can find out where exactly where it is and there's the top there's the joint there and then just cut this connective tissue off of it there's a nice hind leg so we'll do the other one we cut this connective tissue on the bottom Pull it up and away, steer clear of, the, clear of the belly. Get up as high as you can towards the back. Or this connected tissue on the bottom near the belly. 
Now we're at the top of this leg. Cut towards the spine. And cut, now we can cut down. And then we can apply a little bit of pressure. Pop that ball joint out. Because that's a good point to look at to where we can cut. Cut to connect the tissue. Just pull it away. Another hind leg. All right, so the back straps run right and light here along the spine. So I know where it's at. I'm gonna cut down into it. And I'm just going, the spine has a little kind of spurs that come out so it'll stop you from puncturing into that abdomen. But keep your blade nice and flat against those rather than pointed. I'm going, I'm just going up it pretty far and down to about what this back leg is and then I peel it away just like I was filleting a fish. You can use a fillet knife. I'm going to find where this connects because this is abdomen that's all sticking up here. Okay, so just following the spine and kind of curving the knife as I'm cutting, but I'm pulling at the same time. So I'm pulling the back strap away from it. Okay, so I'm pulling this back strap forward towards the front of the beaver and I'm bringing my knife away from this abdomen and this body. But you can look, you've got these ribs right here. And you can hear me hitting them. There's not that much of a wall between here and what's going and the belly and the uh, and the inside of the beaver. So you got to be careful right in here because any kind of puncture is going to get in get is going to get in there. So I'm just following that nice and slow up towards the neck of the beaver. So it's just a easy little downward cut to where I'm getting to the top of this back this uh, backbone so you can hear the backbone there and then just a nice slow so slow cut parallel to the rib cage and there we go beaver back strap So these are the easiest cuts of meat to get off the beaver. The two hind legs, the two front legs, and the back strap. Just be sure to wash them vigorously in cold water to get any remnants of the castor gland off of these for either cooking or for freezing. Enjoy.